Carnival Slayers. Hi, welcome to Carnival Slayers and the Slayer Experience. We are here today at the Tabernacle supporting Mass Must Play and of course Mass Must Play. And I am here wearing this lovely, gorgeous backpack from Sawney Designs and of course swimwear from I Am Darko. So today it's going to be a fun pack day. We are interviewing a number of different designers, mass band leaders, and hopefully maybe a model here or two. So, join us on this journey, and we hope you enjoy the content. Right, so this evening we are here with Dominique and Ems, also known as, in terms of her brand, tell us. Belle D.A. Mars. Okay. What was it like being on the stage today? at Tabernacle. It was so much fun. Honestly, the energy from the crowd, the like expressing what I was conveying in terms of my costumes and the theme and how it was received, but also as a designer, how um, the costumes look to my model. So you've got a vision in your head versus how you want it to look on your, your models and, and, and the future masqueraders. I was so happy with the execution. So happy. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. And you look amazing, and Thank so did all your other masqueraders Thank as well. You. Tell us a bit more about this theme. So, the theme this, this year is called the Blue Sensei of our band. So, I had five models come out. One model was literally the Sensei. So, Sensei is a traditional cultural uh, character that we have in the Caribbean. It's very unique to Dominica. They also have it in St. Lucia. And it's one of the traditional characters of the carnival because as much as I'm in the, the bling and the feathers, one thing for me is that we, we acknowledge why we're here at carnival and we want to like look at um, the beauty of costumes but also the reason why we're here. So why were our ancestors here on the road? And that was why I was conveying one of the traditional characters of carnival, the sensei. And the sensei is actually a Ghanaian word and it means like a chicken with ruffle feathers because the slaves, the enslaved Africans, I should say, wanted to capture or to encompass, I should say, their, their heritage, their vibe and show who they were, no matter what they were going through. And that is why we're on the road, you know? It's not just about the now. Why are we here? We should ask those questions. And that was why I've called it the Blue Sensei of Baval. Um, for non creole speakers, Baval means carnival. And Sensei being the, one of the, the, the original characters of Carnival that the enslaved Africans used to dress up as to rebel against their slave masters and to show who they were. Okay, brilliant. Well, that sounds really, really very informative. So thank, thank you for, you, you know, the, the backdrop to the history. Okay, so my next question. As a very patriotic Dominican, passionate Dominican woman, yeah. right? Do you feel, and this is, a, this is a, a question here, do you feel that there is enough representation on the road at Notting Hill in terms of bouillon? Talk to us about that. What's no, your view? I think, I think there is enough in terms of um, patronage, or whatever the word is, of people that are of Dominican or Creole descent at Carnival. When I go to Carnival, there's not so much Haitian, but it's very much some Guadeloupe, some St. Lucians and loads of Dominican people. So we are there. But in terms of the different types of soca, I'm even going to extend it to out. As much as I'm a patriotic Dominican, we know there's so many different styles and types of, of soca. So you have chutney, chutney bacchanal, I love. Do I hear enough of that on the road? No. Bouillon, do I hear enough of that on the road? No. Jab. No, and these are all the things that are unique to the island and they are expressive of the people and unique nuances, sorry I can't speak properly, the unique nuances of all the islands that make us who we are because it's the mele, it's the bringing us together that makes carnival what it is because we're very same, same but different. That makes sense? Same, yes, same, yes. Same, same. That's my Monica, same, same but different. Of course, of course, I, I totally get you. Um, so, out of interest, could you give me three Dominican DJs that is representing Dominica here in the UK? Three 
Oh. Who who should we be looking out for? Who do we who should whose mixes we okay, should be listening okay, to? You're gonna put me on the spot. I am. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Take, I'm gonna actually going to take one from back home. And there's DJ Snow of Dominica. He's obviously with YouTube and with everything. He's international. He is on point in terms of representing Boyan, but the latest soca and that's DJ Snow seven six seven. And then I will go for. A Ghanaian legend who knows his soca, he knows his soca better than anybody I know. Credible. Credible knows his boyo and he knows every genre of music. I will literally, I would go and give his, his ancestors a clap. That's how good he is. And I will give, um, who did we say? Digger D. Digger D because he knows the latest boyo and he, he mixes the old with the new. And I think that's actually like a skill that other people could learn from. Not to say they're bad, but I think it's what I like. When I go to a fair, when I go to Mars, I want to hear the new and I want to hear the old soca because it gives me that vibe. Whether it's new and you give me hype, whether it's old and you give me nostalgia, I want the both. You know? Okay, well, thank you for that, Ems. I'm so, um, so that's good. That's your, your top, top three. DJs who who represent Dominica they do. They and the Bouillon to the fullest. And they know their stuff. Like I, as a Dominican person, learn from them always. Okay, brilliant. Ems, where can people catch you, and what are you up to next? So I'm currently designing for Carnival 2022. I'm assuming that Boris is not going to mug me off. I would also um, say if people want to find me, they can find me on Instagram. Uh, Dominican underscore E M Z or Bell D A Mass and it's B E L D Y E S M A S dot com. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time and talking to Carnival Slayers this evening at the Tabernacle, thank you. and we look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Thank you. So all the best. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. All about September 11th, one more jam in the UK, London. I am coming to you for the first time ever in 2021. Big up Triple M and the whole Remedy Event Squad. You don't know. Call the Uber to so one more jam. It's gonna be mass, mass, mass. Call the Uber. Call the Uber now. I am coming to ya. Coming to ya now. What the?
guys follow carnival says on youtube subscribe hit the button if you want to see the latest news if you want to see what's happening follow carnival slayers on youtube carnival slayers carnival slayers